crazy. That just gave me such chills. Yeah, dude. same. That just gave me such goosebumps. What is going on over there? There's like footsteps yeah. and like knocks on the wall. Oh, that's how like movement again. Like, yeah. Like, like fabric. Why? What is going on? All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Tonight, we are back in New York. We're in Whitehall at Skeen Manor. Now, this is a location we've been coming to for seven years. This whole area was owned by Philip and Catherine Skeen. Now, Philip was an officer during the Revolutionary War for the British Army. During the Revolutionary War, his home was ransacked by the Continental Army. Catherine's coffin was actually made of lead, so they stole her coffin, and she's now said to haunt the grounds because of it. Now, in 1867, New York State Supreme Court Judge Joseph Potter would actually purchase the land and begin building the home. It was constructed between 1872 and 1874, and was originally known as Mountain Terrace. In 1946, a retired New York State trooper actually purchased the home, and he made the first floor a bar and a just kind of like a restaurant. His family would live upstairs, and they operated the bar and restaurant downstairs. Now, just five short years later in 1951, the Reynolds family would purchase the property and continue the restaurant business on the first floor. They would operate the building for 17 years until their son actually tragically passed away on the third floor what is now known as the map room. It served as a bar and a restaurant for about four decades total and then eventually it fell into disrepair and the bar and restaurant was closed. Then in the mid-1990s, Skeen Manor Preservation Inc. actually took over the property and they began restoring it. Now we've been coming here, like I said, for seven years for investigations. It's really a cool local spot we like to hit all the time. There's disembodied voices, shadow figures, EVPs, footsteps. I even saw a full body apparition looking out of the top floor in the tower one time when we were here, before the event even started. It's one of those spots that we love coming back to. It's very, very active. It's another historic home. We've been hitting a lot of these lately but they've been turning out really well for us yeah just the aesthetic of this home in general is amazing and i think it's really interesting because a lot of these locations we've been hitting it's our first time ever going there this spot we've been going here like you said for years so i wonder if the activity is going to be different just because they know us you know they're familiar with us yeah i'm ready to get inside get our gear and uh, just see what ski manor has in store for us tonight and see what we can catch let's do it all right guys, now we're in the front parlor here at Skeen Manor. We're gonna start with an Estes method. So I'm gonna uh, plug in the spirit box here to these headphones. I'm gonna repeat whatever I hear. Hopefully we can facilitate a conversation with uh, some of the spirits here at Skeen Manor. Um, we have some devices set up. We have the REM pod right over here in the doorway. Um, the Mel meter is on the piano. We have a music box in the hallway, flashlight set up. We got the whole shebang. Um, so hopefully we get some uh, good stuff in here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We haven't been up here in a long time. Um, like I said, we've been coming here for seven years. We haven't probably been up here in the last couple years though. Um, COVID kind of slowed down, but interested to see what we get now. There's just the two of us here at this house. We do have the music box, like he said, right there. There's the Mel. REM pod is just in here to this room to our right. And then we also have a flashlight set up on the uh, fireplace mantle up by Dylan as well to see if that goes off. So he's gonna go under. I'm gonna ask some questions. Hopefully we can get some cool stuff and we'll just, uh, we'll go from there. We'll start our night. He's under. Hello. My name's Steve. Please. This is Dylan. I don't know if you remember us, but we used to come here a lot and talk to you. It was like a little kid's voice. I couldn't tell what it said though. Do you remember us from when we used to come here? Dylan, who's sitting in the chair over here, he has headphones on. He'll be able to hear anything you say to him. So when I ask you a question, if you go talk to Dylan, speak to him, he'll be able to repeat your answer to me. Might be the easiest way might be the easiest way for you to let us know that you can hear us and communicate God. with us. God. God. If you remember us, can you say one of our names or hello? We also have some devices set up. It should make it a little bit easier for you to communicate with us. We have this one here on the top of this table. There's one out here in the hallway. There's an, yes, just like that. That one right there, perfect, very good. If you step back from a second, it'll stop making that noise and lets me know you can hear my voice. You just gotta step away. It'll stop. Perfect, thank you. So these make it easier for you to communicate with us as well. So if you wanna use those, you can. There's another one right over here on the floor in this room and then there's a device up on the fireplace that if you touch the end of it a little bit, a light turns on. It's not gonna hurt you. None of this stuff here should hurt you. We just wanna communicate. So can you either speak with Dylan or, or use some of these devices? The one out here in the hallway, all you have to do is step in front of it and it lights up and plays music. It's pretty cool. Are you willing to Good. talk? Good. Are you willing to talk to us? 
If you are willing to talk to us, can you give us a sign? Make a noise? Set off one of the devices? Speak to Dylan? There's a woman's voice that keeps coming through. I can't tell what it's saying though. It's very, very quiet. Is this Catherine Skeen? We're speaking with Catherine right now? If it is, could you speak a little louder so Dylan can hear you? Or get a little closer to him maybe? If it's not Catherine, can you give us your name? What Potter. Can... Potter. Is this one of the Potters? What can we help you with? I can help. You can help? Who needs help? Give us the name of the person that needs help. And we mean you no harm, we mean you no disrespect. You have an amazing home. Are you happy that they're restoring it and fixing it up? No. You're not? And the flashlight turns on. Okay. If you twist that the opposite direction for a second, it'll turn off. I just felt like a cold breeze right across my face. Thank you, perfect. It literally felt like a cold breeze right across my face. That was weird. Did you just walk by me? Did you just walk up to me or, or walk by me? Up front? Up front, I'm in the front of the house. I'm by the front door right now. I'm by the front door right now. That's right behind me. And I just felt that and I said- That was a weird there. voice. It was like, it was like choppy. It was like, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. So you just walked by me up here by the front of the house. Hi. Hi. Who, who was it? Who just walked by me? Can I have your name please? I'd love to know who, who's here and who we're speaking with. The Mel just pinged. The Mel just pinged. Was that you? Can you touch the top of that again? What the heck? Oh. Okay, so that's picking up a temperature change. Okay, thank you. See, I'm feeling you. I know you're here. Can you step away for a second, please, so it stops making that noise? Just gotta step back. Thank you, perfect, okay. So, so far you've touched the top of that, you've turned on the flashlight, and I think I felt you walk by me, and you said you did. If you're one of the potters, if you're Judge Potter, can you turn on that light up on the fireplace again? You did it a minute ago. All you gotta do is twist the end of it a little bit and the light comes on. If this is Judge Potter, can you do that? Can I have the name of the person that just walked by me? Who just walked past me to go towards the front door? I felt you and you said it, it was you. Can I have your name? Did you live in this house? Something fire? Something fire. To our knowledge, there's never been a fire in the house. Not that I know of at least. Again, who's here with us? That was a weird voice. It was like the grudge almost. The flashlight just flicked on. Just kind of like that noise that the grudge makes. Flashlight just flicked on super quick and then turned off. Can we please have your name? I want to know who we're speaking with so I can address you properly. We don't want to be disrespectful. I'd love to introduce myself. Again, I'm Steve. This is Dylan. What should we call you? If you're out here in the hallway, can you step in front of this device I have on the ground, this little black box? Just lights up and makes noise, plays a little bit of music. I'll show you, look, ready? All you gotta do is put your foot in front of it. See? Can you do that for me? Or if you want, you can touch the top of that device again that you did a minute ago. 
Or turn on the flashlight up there on the fireplace. You've done that a couple times. Close the door. Close the, which door? I mean, I mean, all of these rooms here have massive. In the pocket. hall? Close the door in the hall. Either in the hall or in the wall. You're talking about that door at the end? Go. You want me to go down there and pull it closed more? It's, it's pretty much closed. Is it that one that you want closed more? If it is, let me know. I'll go close it. So, like, don't mind me? We don't mind you. This is your house. We're just visitors. And then that goes off again. Okay. Step back, please. Hey, while you're over there, can you grab the top of it again? It's gone? What's Who gone? Who are you? My name's Steve. This is Dylan. My name's Steve. This is Dylan. We've been invited here to talk to you. We've come here a lot to speak with you before. We don't mean any disrespect. We mean you no harm. We mean the house no harm. We love the house. It's absolutely beautiful. Can we have your name? There's also a device in here on the floor. Does the same thing here? Yep, here. This one There's right like here. a deep male voice that keeps coming through. Again, we'd really like to know who we're speaking with. It would make it a lot easier if we knew how to address you. With him? With who? Are you from this house? Do you live here? Or work here? Maybe both? Somebody said friend. You're a, you're a friend? A friend of who? Are you our friend? Are you looking for a friend? I moved over here now by the stairs. If you're upstairs, can you make a noise? Are you still here? Burn out. Burn out. Are we burning out all your energy? Why wait? Can you see us? Sound like a woman went, mm hmm. Okay, so you can see us. Me? Yeah, you. You can see us in this house? That is pinging. That's pinging. Okay. If you can see us in the it's house. It's working? Yeah, it's working, exactly. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. That's crazy. Can you go up and touch that again? Whatever you just did, can you do that again? Right now? As soon as you can. It's not like kid's voice went after. After what? Like after. After what? Do you need a minute? Am I too close? Perfect, thank you, okay. 
Okay, so that's temperature and EMF going off at the same time. Can you step back? It'll stop. Perfect, thank you. Can you do me a favor and can you touch that metal rod on the top again? So that those lights on the top go off? It seemed like you grabbed it a minute ago. You said you could see us and then you, and you touched it. Warned her? Could you do it again for us? I'll step back out here in the hallway, give you a little more space. Down there? Are you down here? You down the hall? In a minute, we're gonna be going upstairs to the next floor by the bedrooms. Is that okay with you? I heard that. Is it all right if we come upstairs? And go up to the second floor of the house? Are we allowed to? Admiral? You can follow us upstairs if you want. Follow us around the whole house tonight. We'd love to speak with you. Still not really sure who I'm talking to. But you've grabbed this a few times. You've set off the flashlight a few times. And you seem to be talking through Dylan. You said you could see us. So as we move upstairs, feel free to join us and move up to the next floor, okay? If you'd like to continue a conversation with us, we have a couple different things we're gonna use up there. We might be able to hear you a little bit better. Will you go upstairs with us and talk? You can either set this off again if yes, or you can tell us through Dylan. We're gonna get moving up there. If you're not gonna follow us upstairs, can you say goodnight or goodbye? Sound like come here? Where? Where are you? Are you out here? Are you in that room? Come on down. Okay, I'll come over that way. We only have a minute left though. We're gonna be going upstairs. Who's over here? Can you tell me your name? Even your last name. Can I have your last name? I'd love to get your name before we move upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna pull him out. We're gonna go upstairs and talk. You can come with us, like I said. We have another device that you might be able to speak to us a little bit better on. We're gonna head upstairs now, all right? All right let's tap him out and get, uh, get going upstairs. All right, how'd that go? Interesting. Interesting? Interesting. I'm not sure who it is that we're talking to. You wouldn't give me a clear answer on who we're speaking with. Mm -hmm. But when I asked, can you see us? Yeah. You said, a woman said, mm-hmm. And the melmeter pinged a couple times. Like somebody grabbed at the top of it. Like not temperature, like the, the EMF went off a couple times. Oh, good. Um, the flashlight went on and off a couple times, but that was it. No other equipment. Right. And then I said, um, you know, where are you before we go upstairs? You can follow us or whatever. And you said, come here. And mm -hmm. I said, where? And there was a loud knock in this room. Oh. And you was, said, come on down. It was weird too, because one of the last things I remember saying is Admiral. Yeah. And I believe it was Mr. Potter's son was a rear Admiral during yeah. the Spanish American war. Yeah. Um, weird. It you seemed said like Potter was, at the beginning too. It seemed like a lot of it was residual. It was like conversations back yeah. and forth. There'd be a male voice and then a female voice. Yeah. It, it was, was weird. You gave me some good information. Um, and there were definitely a couple of intelligent responses throughout it. Same with the, the equipment going off kind of intelligently. Right. Um, so I invited him to come upstairs with us to talk. I figured we could do some DR60s up there. It might be a little easier for him, but I figure it's time to get up there and see who's hiding out upstairs. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. 
All right, guys, so we moved upstairs. We're on the second floor now. This is where all of the bedrooms are. So while the families ran the restaurants and the bars downstairs, they would live up here on this floor and the next floor above. Um, and also while it was a private residence, obviously this was where most of the main bedrooms were. Um, so we have stuff set up throughout every single room in this floor. Um, we have a REM pod in this bedroom. We have a millimeter in the office. We have another REM pod over there. We got the music box on the stairs. There's a flashlight behind me and there's another millimeter in this room to my left Dylan's right. So we have stuff literally everywhere in here. Um, we're gonna just try to see if we can get them to interact with any of this equipment, see if they can lead us to a specific room they wanna to talk to us in. And uh, we're gonna do some EVPs up here as well because we haven't really broke those out yet. So we wanna see if we can get some communication that way yeah. um, before moving up to the third floor. But I mean, there's almost 200 years of history in this house. So we're just trying to see who exactly wants to talk to us. Yeah, because that was the one thing about the SS. It wasn't really clear who we were talking to. Right. So I wanna see maybe who's hanging out here. Obviously gotta check in to see if our friend Christopher is uh, tagging along here in New York with us this time. So let's just get into it. See if we can get him to interact with any of this stuff here yeah. and then do some EVPs. Let's do it. Oh, actually, yeah. On cue. I think that's in the office. Yeah. So this was Judge Potter's office. Can you step away so it stops? Okay. Perfect, okay. Thank you. Do you recognize us? Judge Potter, if you're in there, can you grab the top of that device that's on your desk? You just go up to it and grab the top of it. It'll light up different colors. It's not gonna hurt you. It just lets us know that you're in there and that you can hear our voice. If you could do that for us. Anybody else who might be up here, there's similar devices in almost every bedroom up here. If you go near them, wave your hand in front of them, touch them, they light up, they make noise. Just lets us know that you're here and you can hear us. That's the one down there now. Yeah. Which one is that? Oh, good. Surrounded. I think it's... This one? Yeah, that room. Can oh. you step away, please? So it stops? Both on command. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not sure if you heard us downstairs. My name is Dylan. This is Steve. We're just here to talk to you. We want to have a conversation with you, learn more about the house, the history of this location. We love this house. It's a beautiful house. We don't mean you any disrespect. We don't mean the house any disrespect. We're here just to talk to you. So now we've gotten two of those to go off. If anybody's in one of these other bedrooms or near the stairs, can you get near one of those devices? Or if you're behind me here in the hallway, you can turn on this flashlight that's on this dresser. All you gotta do is twist the end of it a little bit and the light turns on. Let's us know that you're here. In a minute, we're gonna use a device that will be able to hear your voice when you speak to us. We can start out in whatever room you want with those. So if you wanna set off a device in whatever room you're in, we'll come in there and we can ask you some questions. Is the Potter family up here? There's like movement. Yeah. Over in this bedroom? Yeah, it sounded like it was in the bedroom or on the stairs. Yeah. Sound like shuffling. Yeah. Like, like somebody dragging their feet almost. Can you make that noise again? Is that the one over there now? It's the one back in the office. Okay. Can you step back for a second? We'll come in there and ask you some questions. It just stops making that noise. On command. Perfect. Okay, we'll come in there for a minute, okay? I think we start right in here then. Yeah. Do some EVPs. Again, this was uh, Judge Potter's office. Mm -hmm. He's got his library here, all that kind of stuff. So um, I think we do a quiet one first. Yeah. See if he's got anything he wants to say. It's one out there now. Now yeah. it's one down there. We'll come to you after. That's interesting though. Yeah. It's both. I did this one and then went back down there and did that one. Both times. Right. So it's either it's two different people trying to get our attention right. or it's just the same person just like playing Going back and forth. Yeah. Which during the Estes, it sounds like there was a kid's voice that kept right. coming through. I mean, there were a lot of kids that grew up in this house over the years. Right. Um, and some we don't even know about, right? Like it exchanged hands multiple times. Yeah. And you know, some of these stories are kind of lost through time. So we don't really know, but I think we start here. We do some quiet ones first. Let them um, see if he's got anything to talk. So J Judge Potter, if you're in here or if anybody else is in here, we have these devices in our hands, these little gray boxes. They're not gonna hurt you. All they do is allow us to hear you. If you didn't understand that, we can't always see you, we cannot always hear you. These just make it easier for us to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna set one on your desk up here. Dylan's gonna hold one in his hand. We're gonna to count to three. 
At that time, we're gonna be completely quiet. It's completely up to you. Say whatever you want. If you have a message for us, if there's something you wanna get out, if you just wanna say hello, whatever it is you wanna tell us, as soon as I count to three, it'll be your time, okay? We'll be completely quiet for you. All right, so we're gonna to count to three, and then it's your turn to talk. One, two, One, two, three. So the REM pod in that other room is going off. Yeah, it's still I going off. So let's go out it's there not, before we play these back. Quick. It's not this one. Which one is it? Not that one. It's this one. Can you step away from that device, please? Or touch it again, that's fine. That's a full EMF thing. Yeah. Can you step back for a second so it stops that? Step back, we can ask you some, perfect. Step back. Okay. Can we play these back really quick? See what Judge Potter had to say? Okay. That's bizarre. Yeah, that is really weird. That was weird. It was like, as soon as we started recording, yeah, it started going off. All right, let's play these back quick. Let's see what we got. Do you not want, to pl want us to play these back? Can you touch the top of that? Which one is that? This one? This one, I think? Or is it this one? I can't tell. No, I and think it stops. It, it was I think it there. was the one in that room. That was so bizarre. I can't tell which way it's coming from. Yeah. It's like it's leading us in different directions, though. It's almost like That's playing three a game. out of the four rooms so far. Yeah. All right, let's just play this back quick. Is that this one again? Yeah, it's that one again. Literally, as soon as we go to play it. And then it stops. That's so bizarre. Was that the full recording for that one? Though? No. No? All right, I'm gonna play it back. Let's just finish it. Yeah. What is this? That sounds like the voice that came through on Estes, actually. That was weird. It's like, stay with us? Yeah, it's a really deep voice. So. Stay, stay with, with us? us? Yeah. That's, that's that, one. that one. Yeah. That's that one now. It's been the EMF that, function. Though. Yes, like, that's what I mean. They touch the top of it or they get close to it. That's crazy. Oh, so three out of four REM pods slash millimeters have gone off up here. Yeah. I don't know which room to go into. Are you the one who said stay with us? Is that what you said? Here's a wild twist. What if they're talking to Christopher Broadwell? Like you can't keep traveling with them. Stay right, here stay with here us. Stay here with us. It's fine. That's crazy. That just gave me such chills. Yeah, dude. same. That just gave me such goosebumps. Can you step back so it stops making that noise, please? What? How is that real? So wait, just to verify, are you telling me that Christopher Broadwell, the guy who's been following us around, you want him to stay here with you? If he's here with us right now, set off any one of these that you've been using, just to confirm. Either touch the top of it or get close to it, whatever you've been doing. Is that like a chair? Is that like a chair? Is that like a chair? What was that? And now that one's going off. That just sounded like something dragged. Yeah, it was like a chair sliding yeah. across the floor. Okay, all right. Why what? do they want Christopher Broadwell to stay here though? Maybe, maybe they're just like, dude, you can stay here. Right. You know what I mean? Like. Which one's going off? That one again? Or is that the bedroom one? That's the one has, that hasn't gone off. Is it? It's one of these two over here, right? 
I couldn't tell if it was that one or not. What is happening? A lot. <laughs> There's literally something going off in every single room up here. Yeah. Every single room right now has something going off in it. Wait, Christopher, if you're up here setting one of these off, if you're up here setting one of these off, can you touch the one that you're using? So we know where you are? Because if it is the potters or the skeins right. or whoever's here, maybe they're having a con like a conversation with each other, right. you know? I can play this one back. Yeah, here. I know. Let's play that back quick. Play that back one more time. Play that back. What is going Hold on? on? I can't tell what that's that says. That last part sounds like Christopher Broadwell. Play it one more time. It's the same cadence he always says it in. Christopher yeah, Broadway. That's how he always says that's it. That's so weird. So it's almost like you got the Potters, whoever's up here with us, and then I got Christopher. Right. Why? What is going on? Dude's from Ohio. Another weird thought. What if the stay with us mm -hmm. is Christopher Broadwell talking to them? Like, come along with stay us. Stay with us. Yeah. There's no more room in There's the no car. There's no room in the car. Chris. Yeah. Where are they going to sit? Where does Chris sit? Christopher. Christopher, was that you inviting them to come with us? Are you telling the people that are from this house that it's okay to travel with us like you have been? If it's you telling them that, set off any of these devices up here right now. Let us know. Yeah. It's down there. That's the temperature on it. Mm -hmm. Which, that's the... The one that's been going off though, right? Yeah, I think it's the one in this room right here. Let's go over this way. I don't really know what's going on right now. That's that, that one? was that one. Yeah. I don't understand. I'm surrounded. That's that one again. It's very interesting though, because a lot of you guys were saying at the Emory estate, it almost seems like they were kind of like rejecting Christopher. Maybe they weren't calling us unholy. Maybe they were right. saying Christopher, right. or whoever else this, you know, this other right. guy was. Almost here, they seem very receptive of them. They're right. still very active, you know? What a weird situation. Yeah. I don't even know which room to go in. No. I think we have to go in separate rooms, right? Like right. to do this next session. Split up a little yeah. bit. Um, you want to take that one? I'll take this one. I'm going to go right outside this door by the stairs. Okay. Yeah, then, yeah. If you stay right in that doorway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Again, whoever's up here. We're gonna use these little silver boxes that we have. You wanna ask some questions this time? Yeah. These don't hurt you, okay? It just allows us to hear whatever you wanna tell us, okay? We're gonna to count to three, we're gonna ask you some questions. Come on up and speak into them, all right? You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Whoever's up on this floor with us right now, can you please say your first and last name? Do you like having visitors come to this house? How many people are up here with us right now? Can you tell us what town we're in? What it's called? If you know either one of us or both of us, can you say our names? Do you like all the work they've done on the house? One. Two, three. Uh, that might be a sore subject, because when I asked that during the SS, you said no. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I said, do you like that they're restoring the house and fixing it up? You go, no. I'm like, oh, it's weird. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Right 
What? That's a whisper. That's so yeah. vocal. I played it back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good at least. Yeah. I guess whoever's downstairs is just mad. Yeah. They're like, no, I hate it. Yeah. Well, actually, think about it though, right? If that's somebody, one of the first owners, maybe, mm -hmm. it wasn't a bar or restaurant back then. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've obviously knocked out a wall, added some stuff, you know what I mean? So, like, maybe they're seeing it and they're like, no, we don't like that. It mm -hmm. was a house. Maybe they don't want their house turned into like a tourist right. attraction, you yeah. know? Huh. That's weird. I don't see if this thing got anything different. Which one was that? I think it was that one. In the office again? They haven't gone off in, in probably minutes. Yeah. All right, play All right. that. Anyway. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. Dang. That's that one again. That's the rim. Can you step away, please? So it set off both the rim and yeah. the temperature? Step back for a second. That's crazy, actually. Did you just hear that noise? Like the dragging noise? That was not rain. That was a bang. That was, it sounded like it was in the office, that too. That was a bang in there. If you just made a noise in the office, can you touch the device on the desk? Just get up close to it. I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, let's play, uh, let's play this back still. So. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Say skeins, bro. You can hear like skeins, bro. Cool. Skeins, bro. Yeah. That's weird. So for you guys that don't know, um, before this was called Whitehall, it was called Skeinsboro because. Skeen owned pretty much all the land here. Yeah. So they changed it to Whitehall after that, but yeah, Skeensboro was what it was called. That's Weird. interesting though. Because then who are we talking to, right? Yeah. Because I mean, when the Supreme Court judge bought it, it was probably still Skeensboro. Right. So that could make sense, the Potters. This was known as Skeen Mountain too. Yeah. What that's bizarre. Going on up here? There's, but that's, a, that's so weird again, because like now the REM pods have kind of stopped. Like yeah. it went off once again there. I don't know. I feel like we step in there and do one because we haven't been in there yet. Yeah. Let's go right. into that room and do one and see, uh, see who we're talking to. Yeah. What just went off? One just went off. One just went off. Which one? It was behind me. I honestly couldn't tell if it was to my left or to my right. It was just behind me. So I don't know if it was in the office again or in this bedroom up front. It was the REM again though. Can you set off a device in the room you want us to enter next? Set off one of the devices. We'll come in that room and ask you questions. You've been doing great so far. We appreciate you interacting with us. If you don't set one off, we're just going to go in there and do some questions, okay? All right, let's just let's go in here and do some. Yeah. Because I feel like this one has been more consistent, too. 100%. It's but been they've crazy. all gone off. Yeah. Every single one has gone off at least once. That's so weird. Though. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. All right, let's do some questions in here. Yeah. Um, and we'll see what happens. Can we do that? See what we can get. Yeah. Couple questions again. Yep. One, two, three. Whoever's in this room, you've been doing really good setting off that device. Can you come up to this device in my hand now and say Skeen Manor? Can you see what's on my shirt?
Is there more than one person up here setting off all these devices? Does the storm give you more energy? One, two, three. So one of those went off again. Yeah. One of the distant ones. All right, let's see. What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna click catch that. Can we come up? Because there's a nice lion there. It's a steam mater. Can we come up? Because there's a nice lion there. It's a steam mater. Was that you? You almost had it. <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> Please step away for a second so it stops. Thanks. Huh. That was the first scream we got here, though. I mean, Yay. made it to the second floor, I guess. Yes, there is. I don't yeah, it's three different words. Is that lightning? Yeah, lightning. You shouldn't get screamed at. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. All right, so I think we do. Oh boy. Wow, we're in a haunted mansion in, uh, in a thunderstorm. Thunder and lightning. Hmm. Cool. Cool beans. All right, I think we go out in the hallway. We do one more. Yeah. Uh, and then we head upstairs to see what's going on up there. Yeah, let's do, let's it. do it. All right. All right, whoever's out here, whoever's on this floor, we're gonna do one more session, ask you some questions, okay? And then we're gonna move upstairs to the third floor. You're more than welcome to follow us up there as well. We're gonna ask you a couple more questions here before we move. And then after we go up to the third floor, we're gonna split up in this house. We're each gonna take a floor completely alone. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier to talk to us that way. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. We're gonna move upstairs now. Are you going to come with us? What time of day is it right now? Who just screamed at us in the other room? Can you tell us what year it is? One, two, three. All right, let's see, uh, what, we got. Let's see what we got in these last ones. So, so what's interesting is, right, a lot of the equipment has stopped. Like yeah. A couple little blips here and there, and the EVPs have kind of faded off. Right. It's weird. It was really Let's bizarre. see. Let's see what yours got. Yeah. We're going to move up here now. Are you going to come with us? What time of day is it, right? Really quick, yes. Yeah. We're going to move up here now. Are you going to come with us? What time of day yeah. is it yes. right now? That's all so it was. So they said they're going to come with us. Yeah. Which is good. Guess we'll see them upstairs. And all though. this other stuff has stopped. Yeah. So let's grab all this. We'll bring it upstairs. Do some more EVPs if we want to up there. Because um, the third floor has always got that weird vibe. That's yeah. the creepiest floor. Um, that's where I saw that full body apparition from outside, broad daylight. One of the weirdest, craziest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. So let's get up there, see if we can figure out who that was, maybe. 
and see who's been uh, talking to us all night. Let's do it. Let's go. Guys, really quick, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below, give us a thumbs up. If we get 3,000 likes in this video, we're gonna go to Toronto and visit Casa Loma. So another Canada trip. So drop a like guys, and let's get back in the investigation. All right guys, now we're up on the third floor. Like Steve was saying, this is the floor where we usually get the worst feelings. Um, it has access to the sewing room over here. We have a REM pod in there. Um, we have one on the stairs as well. Uh, we have the millimeter set up in the room behind me, the map room and uh, music box is also facing the stairs where we just came up. We can also use the DR60s if we need to, but we're blanketing the entire area because we don't really know who we're gonna talk to. It seems like Christopher's here, it seems like the Potters might be here. Um, Gilly, who's actually a very prominent sportsman in the area, he might be here, we have no clue, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of area to cover in this house. Again, there's a bunch of rooms up here. The stairs behind me actually lead up to the top tower, mm. um, which is where I saw a very clear, full-bodied apparition of a woman. Um, one of the times we were here for a public event, it was before the event started, before we even loaded things inside, I had actually yeah. taken, I was going to take a picture of the house. I never took the picture because I looked up and I saw it. it looked like she had almost like pulled back a curtain and I looked at her and then she just turned around and moved. And so I came right inside and asked one of the volunteers, you know, who's upstairs taking, you know, pictures or whatever. Yeah. And they said, no, nobody's inside. It's just me and, and my mom who was here at the time. And I said, no, like, not joking. There's who's gotta upstairs? be someone. Yeah. And she goes, oh, it was a ghost. I'm like, no, like, who was it really? I, I could see somebody. She said, no. One of those just went off. Yeah. That was that one again. Yeah. Did Steve see you? Can you set off that device if that was you? If you're the woman I saw in the tower, set off one of these devices. Just so I know. Either way, it's probably top three clearest things I've ever seen in my entire life, besides like the very first thing that ever got me into the paranormal when I was younger. Right. I mean, this was a solid person. It wasn't a shadow, it wasn't see-through. It looked like a solid person up there. You were shook up for like 15 minutes. It was crazy. That. Yeah. I came in and just like sat down for a minute and pondered, yeah. pondered life. Uh, but it was really cool. Um, so I don't know, maybe we can talk to her and figure out who it was. Right. I definitely don't think it was residual because it was like she acknowledged me, right? Like we made eye contact. And then she saw you. She and turned and moved away. Yeah. Um, it was bizarre. It was really, really weird. So I hope we, we can figure out who that was. Right. Um, and maybe we can make contact with her. But this already seems like the one of the sewing machines been going off. Yeah. In the sewing machine. In the sewing machine. How did you get it in the sewing machine? Uh, That's crazy. In the sewing room. Did you follow us upstairs? Yeah, if we were just interacting with you on the second floor, you said you were going to come up here. If you did, can you set off one of these devices again? They're the same ones that were down there. That sounded like a footstep. Yeah. That didn't sound like, because you can hear the water dropping over there. That's consistent, yeah. yeah. That sounded like a footstep on the staircase behind me, honestly. Can you make a really loud noise? Stomp your feet, knock on a wall. I'm going to knock. Can you knock back? What was that? Oh, that sounded like movement again. Like, yeah. Like, like fabric. Right. That literally sounded like, I swear to God, if that thing moves. In the <laughs> I don't have an issue with that, yeah. They have a lot of mannequins set up in this house. Please don't. Yeah. Hello? That was, that was like another creak. Yeah. On the floorboard. If you're upstairs, if you're in the tower, feel free to come down and join us. I'm pretty sure I saw you before. If you're downstairs, if you waited to follow us up, feel free to come join us. What was that? That was like a voice. Yeah, it was a female voice. What was that? That was like a voice. Yeah, it was a female voice. What was that? That was like a voice. Yeah, it was a female voice. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was near the Yep, the sure did, though. behind me. Yep. Hmm. That literally sounded like either a female or like a, like a kid. Yeah. It was high pitched. During the Estes, there's a lot of like kid voices too. That was too. bizarre. Hello? Can we have your name? Someone was selling them, right? Yeah. Is it? No, it's this one, the Mapper one. That wasn't that one. So, it's actually Judge Potter's son. Uh, he was in the Navy, he was a rear admiral in, it was called the White Fleet. Uh, basically, the story is that he would track his son's movement across the world with all the maps. Yeah. Now, this is the room that is believed where um, the son of the owner of the restaurant in the 50s unfortunately passed away. So mm -hmm. it's not confirmed, but they do believe that it was this room based on what they've been told. Right. Um, so that's somebody else we can try to interact with as well up here. 
because we don't really know, right? Like this right. house has so much history. So many families have lived here and, and moved throughout the house that we don't really know for sure right. who's here. And they have a lot of historic artifacts here that could yeah. have brought whoever in. I, like, I don't know who that woman was, you know? Right. She, she had older clothing on. It looked like she had like a white like blouse top with like right up, you know, those high collars, like the right. frilled high collars that they used to have. Right. That's what it looked like. She had her hair up. It was, I mean, it was clear as day. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I thought I saw somebody. It was 100% a person. Like a figure, yeah. 100%. Which is interesting, too, because a lot of people report seeing Catherine Skeen here. Yeah. Which, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense because they yeah. don't exactly know where his homestead was because right. he owned the entire town. Right. This house wasn't here. Right. But again, if she's an intelligent spirit, can she interact with the physical world? Could she be up there? Right. She's like, hell yeah. Nice house. house. This is a cool house. Yeah. I'm going to check it out. You know what I mean? Like, the best way I can describe it is it literally looks like what that mannequin is wearing downstairs in the dining room. Like mm. hair up like that, like that frilled collar. Like that's what it looked like up there. That's crazy. And it's, it's not somebody's gonna say, oh, the mannequin was just up there. Yeah. It wasn't. I right. came right inside and went right, I came up here by myself. I ran inside, asked them, they said there was no way up here. I came mm. up, went up the stairs, there was nothing up there. And how'd the mannequin move the curtain? Right, like it, it was bizarre. Like I can still picture it to this day. It was one of those things that really just like sticks with you. Right. It was crazy. What would be scarier though, the mannequin moving the curtain or a ghost moving the curtain? 100% the mannequin. Yeah. 100% the mannequin. Yeah. It was bizarre. It was, it was crazy though. Can you set off one of these devices again? You just touch the top of them, wave your hand next to it, go to pick it up. It's gonna light up and make some noise. I'm not sure if you were talking to us downstairs, but these devices shouldn't hurt you. They're just a way to communicate. We're not going to hurt you. We love the history of this house. We've been coming here for years. We just want to talk to you. We think we heard your voice a minute ago. Did you hear that? No. What'd you hear? It was sounding like a voice again. I can tell where it came from, though. Hello? Are you speaking to us? Can you say something as loud as you can? I think we should do some EVPs. Yeah. Um, Space out a little bit. Yeah, just because like that's gone off. Right. But we think we hear voices. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's do some EVPs. Yeah. Maybe you go towards, towards that. Here. I'll go towards the tower stairs. All right, do a quiet one first. Yeah. Got it. All right, so anybody up here on the third floor with us or up in the tower? We have these little gray boxes in our hands. All they do is allow us to hear your voice. We can't always hear you, so this just helps us, okay? We're not gonna hurt you, we mean you don't disrespect, we mean you no harm, we're here to speak with you. We wanna to talk to you about the house, your life, what it was like to be here. We're gonna give you the chance to talk without us interrupting you. We're gonna to count to three. You come up to either the device in my hand or the one in Dylan's hand, and you give us whatever message you want. Say anything you want to tell us, it's gonna be completely silent for, silent for you to speak. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's see. Let us see. Or let's here. See. Yeah. I guess it would be here. Let's, uh, let's hear if they had anything to say. It's chattering, but not super clear. Yeah. Nothing super, super clear on that, but there's definitely like some faint chattering. Right. What? Which one is that? I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a mapper okay. one again. Can you step away from that, please? So that stops? You gotta step back. Thank you. That's gotta be so annoying too. Like, yeah. go touch it, and then they touch it, and I'm it's like, like, step back. They're like, cool. Sure. Sounds fun. So glad you guys are here. <laughs> All right, let's see. You gotta play that back, cause there's something on there. Yeah. Just talking play about that the whole thing. thing. That's yeah. like, 
That's a full con, like, I don't know if it's conversation Multiple or- Multiple sentences. Yeah. Play that whole thing back. I think I know what it says. I, I have an idea, says. yeah. It honestly, to me, sounds like that middle part and that end part says like, get out of this house, yep. I don't want to talk. I heard get out of this house for sure. I literally thought it says, get out of this house, I don't want to talk. Which is interesting because you came upstairs to do B-roll, turn right. on all the lights, and that no, one turned yeah. off. Play that again. I That's literally think crazy. it says, get out of this house, I don't want to talk. I can't make out the beginning. No. The get out of this house is so yeah. clear. Talk. Yeah, it almost sounds like it says like get out of here get out like at first. Yeah, it's get out of this house Yeah, I don't want to talk. That's crazy right. That was a full sentence. Yeah, though. those are like so hard to catch, right? That's bizarre Should And literally are. every time I turn around that scares the shit out. <laughs> I don't care how many times I do it every time I turn around I'm like who is that every time we did public events We'd come up the stairs and at least one person would scream. Yep. That's so funny. I've screamed eternally six times so far since we've been up here Same a little panic all right, I think we do another one, we do some questions. Should we uh, head over to the room where they told us to get out? Yeah. <laughs> sure, they'd love that, right? Yeah, let's figure out why, right? Yeah. Like, we've been coming here a long time. I don't feel like we've ever been told that There's they don't no... want to talk to us, you right. know? This is uh, a little creepy in here, though. Look at all the mannequins. Do not move. That's the fabric moving? <sighs> What's wrong with you? It crazy. literally did sound like that, though. It, it was did. like, it was like, like yeah. rubbing. Yeah, please don't. Keeping an eye on you three. Especially you over there with the arms. You stop that. Don't. All right. They uh, said, get out of this house. We don't want to talk, so let's... Let's go in the room and uh, see why. Yeah, let's ask them some questions. Try to figure out why, though, right? Like, not to be disrespectful. Right. But why? Is it, is it just tonight? Is it because we maybe have Christopher with us? Right. I don't know. So let's, let's ask him a few. We're gonna ask you a couple questions, okay? If you really don't wanna to talk to us, let us know during this and we'll, we'll leave you alone. Okay, we'll be respectful. We're just gonna ask you a couple questions and then we'll, we'll get out of your hair. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Just to clarify, do you want us to stay or do you want us to get out? Did you just move in the corner of the room? Who's the woman that I saw in the tower a few years ago? Did you follow us from downstairs? One, two, three. What is going on over there? It was like footsteps yeah. and like knocks on the wall. And we weren't moving. We weren't no. shifting our weight. We were standing pretty damn still. Yeah. It's all in that corner with the dresses too, with the arms. So. Uh, yep. Yep. It's yep. really too bad. If that thing moves towards me. You're on your own. I'm, <laughs> I will push you down and run. It can do like the running stance too. With the That's arms. what I mean. That's awful. Why? I just imagine like putting its little metal arms up like this and then just like scooting across the floor. With Thanks. Yep. Out that door. <laughs> yeah. I'm out the window probably. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Out yeah. the window. All right. Let's Goodness. see if you had anything to say over there. Gonna stop, but you don't. Do you want us to stay or do you want us to get out? Get out of here? I'm gonna get out. out of here. Do you want us to stay or do you want us to get out? I did. I did. That? He goes, I did. Super quick. Did you follow us down here? I did. I did. 
Yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right. Let's so, go. why would they come upstairs to tell us to leave that? Maybe it's not the same person, though. Maybe. Yeah. Not, ow, multiple maybe. people. Walk, walk into that. All right. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe whoever came upstairs was trying to talk to us. Right. But whoever else up here is like, get out. I don't, right. don't want to deal with you. That's weird. That's like bizarre. At the end, it sounded like Catherine. This one. Catherine. Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Okay. So. Crazy equipment activity on the second floor. Yeah. Full sentences in EVPs up here. Very, very intelligent. Footsteps, we heard two disembodied voices. So the activity is completely different up here. Yeah. Disembodied voices, EVPs, footsteps, knocks, that kind of stuff. Not really equipment. Right. Downstairs, equipment, nonstop. Every single room, all the equipment went off. Right. There's a lot going on. It's here. almost like it's two different groupings yeah. of people. But the people who followed us upstairs almost gave them the floor. Right. Like they're on the back burner right. now. Yeah, I'm right. still here, but. This isn't my area, that's theirs. Right. That's bizarre. But uh, I think it's that time. Yeah, solo. Time. Are you ready? Your favorite part of the night. Time for some solos. We're gonna split up first floor, third floor, and uh, we'll see what we can do uh, to capture some activity while we're on our own. Yeah, let's so, do it. Let's go. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying this investigation so far tonight and the crazy activity we've been getting, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. We've been going to some amazing locations all across the US and Canada. So you're not gonna wanna miss what's coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Now let's get into these solos. All right, guys, it is that time of the night. It is time for some solos. I will be going all the way back up to the third floor where we just heard disembodied voices, footsteps, got some full sentence EVPs, yeah. super excited for that. Also where I saw that full bodied apparition a few years ago. Um, so I can't wait to get up there by myself and see what happens. Maybe you'll see her again? Hopefully not. You get to hang out down here on the first floor where we had some weird stuff going on during the SS session. You know, it seemed like they were acknowledging that we were here. They said they could see us, the equipment's going off. Um, it was just bizarre, it was a weird thing. So I, we haven't done any EVPs down here. So right. definitely focus on that, do some EVPs down here, see what you can get now that we're alone. Yeah. And uh, that'll be it for Skeen Manor. You had a long walk though. I do. You had a long walk last time. So now I'll take the long walk. Evens out. But um, good luck down here yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. We got the REM pod. We have the music box out here in the hallway. Actually, I think it's right in the area where we set it prior, roughly the same area, here on this uh, bench. And then the Mel, here on the piano, where we had it initially as well. Here we go, walking up the stairs, going to the second floor, I gotta go all the way up to the third floor. It's gonna be a far walk, far walk. All right. So my name is Dylan, down here alone now. Initially, I was wearing the headphones down here. Can you set off one of these devices? Steve said they went off. You touch the top of them, wave your hand in front of them, walk by them. They're just gonna light up and make some noise. All they do is confirm that you're here. You can hear my voice. Here we go. He about gave me a heart attack. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take out this little silver box. We didn't use these down here. This is a voice recorder. So if you speak into it, it should pick up your voice. For this first session, I'm not going to ask you anything. 
I'm going to give you the floor. You can tell me what you need to tell me. Say hello. Tell me your name. Anything you want to say. I'm going to give you the floor. Three, two, one. All right. Let's see if we got anything on this. We got the uh, flashlight still set up here. REM pod on the staircase up to the tower. And then in the map room, we have the millimeter still over there. So we'll do some EVPs up here as well, see if we can get anybody to interact with us. We got the weird sewing room over there where all that weird stuff just happened, the disembodied footsteps. The voices sound like they're coming from over here behind me, so I don't really know where to go. I might start right here in the middle of the hallway, kind of see where they want me to go. Let them lead me in a certain direction. Let's play this back quick, see if we got anything. I'm, I, sounds like I cut them off, actually. Play that one more time. I don't know. Definitely some chatter. I can tell you one thing, though. Being up here on this floor by yourself after seeing what I saw in that tower is a little bit unnerving. It, it wasn't that she was threatening, um, but it's just that I know what is possible up here now. You know what I mean? Like that again was one of the clearest things I've ever seen in my entire life. It was a solid person. It wasn't a shadow. It wasn't see-through. It wasn't, uh, you know, did I see something? I saw a woman in the window in the tower. So let's, uh, let's see if she's here and if she wants to talk to me and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna step out into the main hallway here, kind of like the main entryway. See if I can uh, maybe get some clearer responses. So I'm sorry if I didn't really explain this well enough. Um, the silver box right here in my hand. If you speak into it, I should be able to hear your voice. We're just here to talk to you. My name's Dylan. I've been coming here since I was young. Like we said when we first started. We're just here to have a conversation with you. We love the history of the house. We love to learn more about you the history of this house, whatever you're willing to tell us. So I'm going to ask you some questions. If you could respond into the silver box, I would appreciate it. Ready? Three, two, one. So if there's anybody up here with me tonight, I'm by myself now. Again, my name is Steve. I've been coming here for a long time. I love this house. It's amazing. We love speaking with you. And I would love to have a conversation with you right now, if that's okay. Can you make a noise wherever you are on this floor or set off a device we have set up to let me know where you want me to go so we can talk? Can you see me? Who have we been talking to all night? Can you give me your name? So what I think I'm gonna do first is a quiet session, just to see if anybody's still up here that wants to talk to us. I mean, we got a full sentence last time we were up here. So I'll do a quiet one. We'll see what we get and we'll go from there. Here we go. Are you at peace? Mr. Potter, I'm in the army. I understand how stressful it must have been trying to keep track of your son. All right, let's play it back really quick. That was interesting, I said, are you at peace? And it sounded like the temperature went off. So if that was you, 
Can you interact with this device again? On the piano? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Sounds like it says get out. That sounds like it says get out right there at the end. Get out. Man. I don't get that. I, I don't remember ever getting that kind of stuff here where they don't want to talk to us. I mean, it could be just one person tonight. Maybe they're just not in the mood. Maybe they don't want to communicate. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna reassure them that I'm gonna get out of here soon because we, we aren't gonna be here too much longer. I don't wanna bother them. I don't wanna be disrespectful. I'm gonna do a few more sessions, ask a couple more questions. Maybe I'll do one like in each room up here and uh, we'll go from there and, and see what happens. Plays back, see what we got. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Can you see me? Yes, I can. What? It's like a whisper. It's like, but I don't want to talk to you. That's so weird. So I'm like, yes. I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna start out by doing one here in the map room. This again is the room where the son of the family that was running one of the restaurants here unfortunately passed away. So we're just gonna ask some questions in here, not necessarily directly to him, um, but to anybody that might be in here. This room is pretty important to Judge Potter as well. So uh, we'll see if we can get kind of any interaction, any intelligent responses in this room before we move off to the other rooms. Seems like throughout the night, it goes from very, very intelligent EVPs to just like chatter in the background. Um, I don't know, it's been very, very bizarre, but let's see if uh, the mannequin here has anything to say. If this moves, I think I'm gonna have an issue though. So actually, I'm not going to do that. That'll make me sad if that moves on camera. So, all right, three, two, one. Do you like that they still have meals in the dining room here? So again, my name is Steve. I've been coming here a long time. I mean, you no disrespect, no harm. I'm just here to ask you a couple questions, learn what it was like to live here, work here. It's an amazing house. Um, and I just want to learn more about you and more about the house's history, okay? So I'm going to ask you a few questions now. If you can come up to this little gray box in my hand and speak into it, I should be able to hear your voice and hear your answers to my questions. It's going to be the easiest way, I think, for us to communicate together right now. So I'm going to count to three. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? One, two, three. Can I have the name of whoever's in this room with me right now? Do you like all the fundraising they do to keep Skeen Manor alive? Can you see Christopher? If the man from Ohio that's been following us for a while is here with me tonight, 
Can you say your first and last name in this device? Is the woman I saw in the tower here with me tonight? One, two, three. Let's see what we got. If you can actually see me, what's on my shirt? Do you want more people to come and hear your story? I don't know what that says. There's something right there. It's the woman I saw in the tower. Here with me tonight. I can't make it out. There's definitely something there. Weird. All right, I think I'm gonna move over to that sewing room again and do another session in there. We got some responses in there when we were both up here. So I'm gonna try to get some answers over there. And I think in my last EVP, I'm gonna do on the stairs to the tower. I really wanna make contact with that woman, see if she's here. So I think that's gonna be my game plan for the rest of my time up here. Let's go over to the sewing room. Let's uh, see what we got. Do you like that they still have meals in the dining room here? Something there. Yes, I do. Play it back. Nothing too clear, a lot of chatter. Um, it sounds like there's some responses there. I don't know, I just can't really make them out. Tonight's been very, very uh, weird for EVPs. It's either dead on, like full sentences, like upstairs, or just kind of like chatter in the background. All right, here we go. I still don't like any of those mannequins. Really not a fan. Anytime they do mannequins, especially some like that. Like, no offense, but that's just creepy looking. You got it all tucked in the corner like that over there. Seems a little unnecessary. But, uh, all right, let's do some questions in here. See what we can get. Same thing as before. I'm going to ask you a few questions again. This device in my hand should be able to pick up your voice and let me hear you, okay? So I'm going to count to three. You come up to this device and speak into it as loud as you can. One, two... Three. Is Judge Potter here tonight? If you're up on the second floor, if you're over here in the gift shop, if you're in the dining room, the kitchen, the main parlor here, I wanna ask you some questions. If you speak into the silver box in my hand, I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to know you more. Learn more about Skeen Manor, the history of Whitehall, or Skeensboro, as you may know it. It's almost that time for us to leave. We're not gonna be in your hair too much longer. We appreciate you interacting with us tonight. You've been very interactive, very helpful. So we appreciate that. All right. 
try another one out here, try another session out here. See what we can get. Ready? Three, two, one. Is it too late? Are you getting tired? Where are you? If you wanted to, would you be able to touch me right now? One, two, three. All right, let's see what we got this time in the sewing room. I wanted to ask that question about the touch thing because you know we always ask them to touch us or tell them it's okay to, but maybe it's not that easy. Maybe they, they always can't. Maybe they, they haven't been able to manifest enough to, or maybe they just don't want to. So I wanted to see if they would answer. Like if it's possible, they're just choosing not to. You know what I mean? So let's play this back and see what we got. That's not like it says, yes, I am. Yes, I am. It's very, very broken up. Does that say Judge Potter? Does that say, yes, I am Judge Potter? That's something right there. Yes, I could, baby? I don't know. I thought it was like it said, yes, I could. Weird. So it says, yes, I am, Judge Potter. And like, yes, I could touch you. Interesting, interesting. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more session up here, but I'm definitely gonna go over to the stairs to the tower because I really wanna to try to make contact with that woman and see if I can get her name because I still don't know who it was. So let's head over that way. We'll do one more session and uh, that'll be a wrap on Ski Manor, guys. So let's go over there. Do you remember us? Would you like us to come back, try to talk to you again? Was Philip Skeen a Tory or a Patriot? And once again, Gave me a heart attack. Thank you. God, all right. Let's go over here by the stairs. I'm not gonna be able to go up too far because we have the REM pod, but I will uh, I'll hold my hand up here and try to get some answers. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello? Is there anybody up in the tower right now? All right, let's see. Guys, these cameras are very heavy. My shoulder is fried right now. Just wanted you guys to know. Is it too late? Are you getting tired? Wow, that was a resounding yes. Yes, get the F out. No joke. Is it too late? Are you getting tired? Do you remember us? Would you like 
minutes to come back. Huh? So it's off to you again. So still skiing a Tory or a Patriot. Nothing on that one. Um, the last question I should say, the first question sounded like a very resounding yes, as in yes, we're tired, and then get the F out. So, I mean, that makes sense though. It's like two in the morning currently when we're filming this. I believe I saw a woman up here a few years ago. I would love to know who that was. Can I have her name? Dylan and I have been coming here for a long time. Do you remember us? We're about to get out of here for the night and leave you alone. Before we go, could you do me a favor? Come to this device in my hand and say good night or goodbye as clearly as you possibly can. One, two, three. Let's see what we got. So I guess I'll just ask them to say goodnight and uh, get out of your hair. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna stand in this hallway. If you could come up, speak into this voice recorder, could you say goodnight or goodbye? I'm not gonna lie, when I was standing in this doorway having my back to the rest of the floor, got really uncomfortable. It felt like somebody was just staring at me from the other end of this hallway. So that was a little bit unnerving. Um, something I haven't felt tonight, so that was strange. I think they're ready for us to leave. Um, as I've said, they, they don't necessarily want to talk tonight. So like I said, we're gonna respect them. This is gonna be the last thing I do. I'm gonna play this back. I'll find Dylan, we'll get out of here. But uh, it seems like they're, they're starting to get a little sick of us because that was an uncomfortable feeling while I had my back to the rest of this floor. So let's play this back. Let's get out of their hair and uh, give them back their house. That's the last thing I'll ask of you. And then we're gonna leave for the night. We're gonna pack up, we're gonna leave you alone. Again, we appreciate you talking to us tonight. You've been very interactive. We earnestly appreciate that. Earnestly, honestly, sure. All right, three, two, one. Play that back. It almost sounds like a, her name is and then it, it cuts off. I can't make out the last part. I didn't sound like I said good night. Uh, like I said, I think they're sick of us. I think that's enough. So I'm gonna grab this stuff. I'm gonna find Dylan. We're gonna give him their house back. We're gonna respect them. We're gonna be done in here. Um, but that's a wrap on Ski Manor, guys. What a weird night. Intense activity all throughout the house. Uh, an old stomping ground for us, a place we've been coming for a long time. It was good to be back, good to interact with them again. But uh, let's give them their house back. Let's get out of here and uh, we'll see you guys later. All right, let's see. Sounds like Steve's getting ready to come downstairs, so it is about that time. But let's see if they said goodnight or goodbye. There's something there, I don't know what it says. Let's see. Say good effing night. Not effing, but the word. Play. Good effing night. Well, um, I think they're sick of us at this point, which again, understandable. 
Um, we haven't been here in probably four years, three, four years. So maybe they're not used to having people in here this late. You know, that's gotta be annoying. You're trying to sleep and people are walking up and down your hallways, causing a ruckus. So I guess it's that time um, to go link up with Steve, see how his uh, third floor solo went. And uh, that's a wrap on Skeen Manor. All right, guys, that is a wrap on Skeen Manor. I'd say overall we had a pretty active night. Yeah, it was a weird night, right? Yeah. Like the activity was so different from floor to floor. Um, stuff we haven't experienced here before. We've been coming here for a long time. We haven't been in a couple years, so I don't know if that's why, but it was definitely different on each floor. It was very, very cool. Absolutely. I feel like we haven't been here in a couple years, so maybe they're not used to being up this late. It seems like by the end of the night, they're kind of sick of us and they want us to leave, but it was a good night. I definitely want to come back here and uh, explore again. Yeah, it's one of those spots that's really close to home. Um, definitely somebody that answers questions here, so we definitely have to come back and do more. Guys, we're going to plug all of their stuff down below. Make sure you check them out. They're open for day tours for about half the year, and they also are doing flashlight tours this October. So if you want a chance to get in here at night in the dark, click the links below, guys. Check them out. It's an amazing location. They've done a lot of restoration on it. We love it here, and we're definitely going to be coming back. Absolutely. You ready? Get on to the next spot. On to the next spot. Let's go. Let's do it.